Pisces. Messages from my Pisces. You got the three of pentacles. Working together, collaboration. Might be thinking about career. Your career, focusing on your career. Let's see, Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. Another energy of career focused. Also, you could be getting a raise or a promotion. Also, being single. Let's see, Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? Empress. Taurus, Libra energy. Okay. This is an older woman, a wiser woman. Maybe your partner's talking to an older woman. Maybe you are. All right. This is also pregnancy. If you are still in your childbearing age to have kids. All right. Did anything come out? Make sure the cards fall out. I see Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Pisces. We have the Five of Swords reversed. That is reversed. Sneaky energy, something you don't trust, or someone you don't trust, is here. Alright. See, Pisces energy. This could also speak of a single mother. Ace of Pentacles, reverse finances. Alright, so you might, some of us might be working hard. And you have the devil came out reversed. Toxic energy. Pisces. The star is here healing. This could speak of a child or an Aquarius here or someone needs to apologize. Alright. Let's see what else we have for Pisces. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Very studious. Someone finds you attractive. You find them attractive. Let's just see what this is trying to jump out. You got the Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups, a celebration. Um, also, it could be a third party. You do have a King of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. So that's a couple. Let's see what else we have for Pisces. You have the Two of Wands and the Knight of Cups. I like it. Beautiful. So you have an offer. Someone's coming towards you with an offer. Someone's waiting for you in the distance. Alright, so let's clarify. This could be a long distance relationship. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Pisces? Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Pisces? The death card and underneath is the three of swords so what is this ending this is the scorpio energy this could also speak of trans transformation and rebirth a new start here with the death card in the upright to me it looks like a new job a new you might be starting a new job you might be getting a promotion why is the nine of pentacles here for pisces knight of swords and the knight of cups got all these people pisces <laughs> You have all these options. Two knights. Got the Knight of Cups twice. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You got the Knight of Cups two times coming up in this deck. Um, emotional support. Someone is definitely moving fast towards you. This person doesn't want to lose you. All right. Well, this is your energy. You have options to be with someone that's a different age group. Maybe this person is in a distance and you're trying to figure out what's best for you with this imprint energy. This empress is, she can be happy. She doesn't need a partner. So you do have the Ten of Pentacles, financial, shrug, sh struggling financially, I see. I feel like something is unstable here. Um, why is the Five of Swords with her? Sneaky energy, something you don't trust. Five of Swords, Eight of Wands, messages here. So maybe you're not trusting the text messages or messages you're receiving from this person. Or maybe you don't trust the job offer. If it's a job. Or if it's if you're moving, maybe you're not sure if you should move. Maybe you feel like you should delay it with the two of wands and wait. Maybe you feel like you're not with, with the right partner. Maybe you feel like you could do better than what you have. 
That's the Ace of Pentacles here because you don't want to be broke. That's the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Oh, okay. So you got the Sun reversed. So you feel, maybe you feel unhappy financially or your partner is. Or you feel like you're not happy at the job you're with. It could also be about a child with the sun reverse and the star reverse. A child could be in the way. If you're happy, this watch the star here. And it came out. Take a leap of faith. It did come out reverse, so it's like a false start. This could be like a immature behavior, a childlike behavior. Someone is immature here with the fool, which is very playful. The star and the sun. Why is the King of Wands here? The Two of Wands. Right next to each other. The Two of Wands twice coming out. Hmm. This is definitely um and then it, it's paired with the King of King of Swords, a crazy but Gemini. So someone could be waiting for you in the distance. Someone could be planning something, maybe planning something for the future, but this person doesn't have the financial wealth to make it happen, or this is your energy. Why is the two of wands? You're waiting for more money or a better relationship. Four of cups, rejection. Maybe the cup is not enough for you. Someone rejected. Now someone is regretting rejecting this cup. Or you could be, like I said, waiting for a better offer, either a relationship or a job. you waiting for a better offer to come through. Why is the, four, the Knight of Cups here? Oh, ouch. No. <laughs> no, no, no. The Three of Swords. So, oh boy. This could be some type of heartache and pain here. Someone hurt you or will hurt you and now someone wants to fix it. Or you hurt them, you want to fix it. Okay. Why is that three of swords? Let's clarify again. Let's clarify that uh, three of swords. When I went to, when I was shuffling, the five of uh, cups came out reversed. So this is definitely sorrow. Someone is crying. See, why is the three of swords from a Pisces? Oh, Pisces. You have the two of cups and the seven of swords. Someone might betray you um hurt you deceitful someone you love or you might do this to them as a soulmate that's the two of cups and it's surrounded by fear or maybe you are afraid that they might hurt you this is what i'm getting because the surrounding cards is very independent i'm very sure of myself you do have immaturity here or a child or a diff some type of family member could be in the middle of this connection and causing you guys to have disagreements and the lack of trust and some type of pain here or trauma. But it's a lot of love. It's a soulmate energy here, but it comes with deceit and pain. No relationship is perfect, basically, is what this reading is about. I want to get into the partner because the cards will be more clarified. But you definitely have a soulmate here and someone you love, but it comes with, you know, it comes with the baggage and the pain. What's the advice for Pisces? Someone new. So just be careful with someone new. They might come with baggage. They might come with infidelity. Toxic and crazy. Did not call it? I said infidelity, but toxic and crazy. And then you have twin flame. So this could be... Uh, a twin flame and not a soulmate and if it's not a relationship this could be a partnership two of cups could speak of work and a partnership and maybe you might find something out about someone at work maybe a new employee maybe this person might become jealous of you or toxic or whatever the case may be and it might cause drama at your workplace if it's not work it's definitely love with that two of cups and the knight of cups here twice it comes with a lot of heavy emotion Let's get one more. What's the advice for Pisces before we get to the partner? Distance. <laughs> I called it contemplation. 
So Pisces, some of us might be overthinking, overanalyzing. Okay. You might just be driving your own self crazy. And you this might be your own thoughts. When you guys are separated or, or not together in a distance, long distance relationship. Oh shoot, the card flew on the floor. When you guys are not together, maybe you feel like this person is not being authentic or truthful. Um, and you're lacking trust here with this two of wands. The distance. You guys have distance. It's keeping you guys apart or from growing. The distance is keeping you guys from starting a new... Well, hopefully your partner is not trying to date someone new. Behind closed doors, behind your back and you don't know. Let's get into the partner. I'm curious now. It could also speak of someone wants to start a new connection with you that was in a distance. Maybe you guys were far apart. Maybe you guys created a distance between you and your, the, your soulmate. And now this person wants to come back. And you're saying, well, when you come back, you want to make sure this person is authentic, not hiding. Telling you the truth, not going to break your heart. Okay, so let's get into um, what the partner want to tell you. All right. God bless. Namaste.